So for today's project, I've got a piece of one inch by five inch aluminum bar in the mill, and I'm just squaring up the edges here, the cut edges. And then we're going to rough out a pocket in the middle here to get rid of the majority of the material that has to be taken out. And then roughing out the recesses for what I'm going to call the fixed jaws. And then I finish pass on everything. Then we're going to drill a bunch of holes to hold the movable jaws so that there's some adjustment in the width of stock that can be held. Oops, I uh, countersunk that one a little too deep. Then I'd like for these fixed jaws to have a low profile. So I'm putting a bevel on the edge there almost make it like a toe clamp of sorts so that's everything we can do from the top side now we have to stand it up on end and do this side these tapped holes, the uh, use will become apparent once it's put together. So that's the main body done. But now we need some movable jaws. These jaws are going to have slots in them so they can slide forward and backward on the uh, base. And I wanted to chamfer all the edges before I broke them apart. So that's why I'm partially cutting the perimeter here. And I'd like for the clamping edge of these movable jaws to have a low profile too. So a nice big angle on that edge. Now to break these apart, I made up a small fixture plate, just big enough to do two at a time. So now we got to do is put everything together. So to hold the movable jaws down, I've got the hardware obviously, and a rubber washer sandwiched in between two hard metal washers to provide some resistance. So it's not all the way tight, but it's tight enough that it uh, will hold. And while I'm doing this, the the whole reason for this contraption, as opposed to just using some soft jaws, is I have soft jaws in my machine that I use on a daily basis to make some very specific parts and those jaws were cut on the machine so if I take those jaws off to replace them with something to cut a small part that I almost never make when I put those back on they may not be exactly aligned so for the for the effort of making this small fixture plate or multi-vice whatever you want to it's worth it to me not to fool around with taking the soft jaws on and off and trying to get them back exactly where they go. So here you can see a part that I was working on. 
Uh, I've made nice long cuts in a long piece here. I could have did these individually, but it was just easier to machine as one long strip. And then we'll cut them into pieces at the correct length. And that's mainly the whole purpose for this. So it only has to hold these parts in place uh, with enough force to, uh, to just cut those off. So what I'm using here, this is a 3 16 end mill, and I'm not taking very deep of a cut. I want to say it was um, six thousandths, and uh, none of the parts appeared to move. There didn't seem to be any play or anything. I imagine you go a little crazier with the depth of cut or the speed or a big honking end mill, you'd probably have a little trouble. But for these little parts, it worked out just fine. So there you can see that cut edge. I don't see any chatter on it. It's a nice clean edge. So I'm thinking it hold pretty well. Or well enough. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.